ladies, let's talk about being our authentic selves. I'm uh, back to give you just another quick tip on how I try in my daily life to be more authentic. And one thing that I've noticed that I know I, know I do this and I've noticed it in other people as well um, is that people aren't always honest with themselves. Now, you know, being delusional or deluded or you know telling people one thing when really they can see something else like all of that is usually pretty obvious excuses that people aren't being honest externally but what I found typically is that when people have to confront the not so positive sides of themselves you know it's very easy to be a ray of sunshine all the time like that's enjoyable people like rays of sunshine people encourage rays of sunshine when you're in a sunshiny mood people you know want to be around you um, that's it's great being sunshiny is wonderful I personally am a human smiley face I'm always smiling always feel smiley so I, I get that the thing that can be tough when you kind of embark on your journey towards consciously being more authentic is accepting and dealing with the dark side of who you are and you know your dark attributes everyone has them even the sweetest nicest person has some you know not so great things about them that they probably don't show the world and that's really more so it comes in with your personal introspection and your reflection is dealing with the dark elements of your nature so the not so nice things about you you know people might say that you're occasionally mean or you have you know you might be in a bad mood or you're moody or you know what you consider tenacity and being you know forward thinking might consider aggressive or you know it's just it's a lot of different you know characteristics that can be positive in some elements but the negative in others and and being more authentic to ourselves and being more authentic people you have to accept the good and the bad about you you have to accept the light and the dark and both of them exist because without one there be no other there has to be balance so if you're always 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 happy positive upbeat smiling you know eventually that's going to feel fake because there are going to be times where you're not going to feel that way and you're not going to want to be that person and what you're going to do is become annoyed because people are going to become to begin to expect that's who you are and when you're being your authentic self we all know that that's not who everyone is all the time so being honest with yourself means accepting your good attributes and your bad attributes when they happen when they don't happen just in general and I want to make a quick uh, uh, one suggestion um, for I guess some outside reading this is a book that and funnily enough I haven't read the book um, I've had it for a few years I got it I can't even remember where I got it um, but something told me to pick it up so I did and this book is called The Dark Side of the Light Chasers um, it's a book by Debbie Ford and actually Debbie Ford was at the time when this book came out she was she was on Oprah so you know of course everyone was familiar with it at the time and she's actually been on Oprah since then uh, on the Super Soul Sundays she has on own and I've seen her episode there but the whole point of this book is kind of accepting the darkness in you and typically the dark attributes of who you are are oftentimes most strongly reflected back at you through someone else so say that there's a person that you just really can't stand or you just really don't want to be around or you just really you know for whatever reason you just don't something about them irks you oftentimes that thing about them that you deem negative that is sometimes you know I'll say the universe uh, whatever kind of God you know whoever however you worship however you believe that is that person is being a mirror and they're reflecting that back to you and often people don't know how to receive it and they receive it as they just don't like that person but oftentimes it's that quality within that person that you see in yourself that makes you not like that person not all the time some people you just don't like like everyone you're not gonna like everyone and that's fine but that could be a reason why some people tend to get on your nerves more than others so I will suggest you know you I'll post I'll have a link below to this book on Amazon so you can pick it up um, if you you know want to do some supplementary reading you know some people are very much into kind of the whole self-help books and they like to read about what they're striving towards so this is one I wanted to suggest even though I haven't read it but 
it's something that I think is important. Um, that's one of the things that I have the most challenge with is kind of accepting and realizing the darker elements of my personality because like I said I like to see think of myself as a human smiley face and a really happy person and really positive and yes I am but there's sometimes where I don't feel like smiling and I don't feel like being positive and I don't want to be happy and so I have to um you know, have to work on that. And is in my own journey to be more authentic, that's something that I'm aware of. And I think it, I'm not making any New Year's resolutions, but if I would make one, it would be for me to read this book. So, you know, there might be a video coming up about this book just to kind of talk about what I've learned from it. But I just wanted to suggest it. I wanted to talk about being more honest with yourself. It's not easy. Um, I've had what I like to call, what, you know, I've heard other people call come to Jesus talks with myself where I'm just very real and honest with where I am in that moment and why I am that way like as far as why feeling wise and it's it helps me to realize my own motivation behind certain things and then I can be truly my authentic self as you know in other when that situation arises I understand my motivation and I can I can react authentically so that was my quick tip for being your authentic self. Um, you know, stay check out the book and please, like I said before, share comments, thoughts. If you've had some of your own journeys toward authenticity, I would love to hear yours. It's not just about my journey. I'm just sharing mine, but if you have some of your own, please feel free to give a video comment and I look forward to the next time that we talk again.